All right, it's a pleasure to introduce Dr. David Freeman. And Dr. Freeman is a professor of neurology and neurosurgery, director of the Neurocritical Care Unit at Mayo Clinic Florida, and he's going to talk to us about the pathophysiology of stroke. Thank you, Kevin. It's my pleasure to uh, talk to you guys about something I'm passionate about, which is pathophysiology. And the reason why it's important to understand physiology is it's all about the why. When you understand the why about patient care and their physiology, it makes you better in managing uh, the patient. And so the other um, sweet part about this is this is our 10th anniversary of this stroke conference. So I've been talking about Penumbra for a decade now and looking back. And the other exciting thing is this complete validation of everything that I've said for the past decade about penumbral salvage. So we have level one after level one after level one randomized trial showing that large vessel occlusion um, thrombectomy um, leads to better outcomes. So, so I'm really gonna focus more on the fifth P, penumbra and perfusion. And we're gonna quickly go through these, these top ones. So there's one for each P for each finger on your hand, uh, pump, pipes, pressure, perfusion, and pronomen. I'm gonna take you through a, a, a case that we took care of. And, and it's a challenging case. This was a 66-year-old lady um, who had atrial fibrillation and under, underwent a cardiac ablation procedure um, because she had a refractory um, uh, rhythm. And she was given a dabigatrin, and then she was actually given a dose right after the procedure. And uh, she developed, 30 minutes after the ablation, developed um, dysarthria and a, and a NIH stroke scale of 14, so significant uh, left-sided hemiparesis um, and sensory and motor uh, difficulty. So this was um, a challenge, right, because she just got a DOAC. She's not an intravenous TPA. Uh, she was referred to our center um, because of potential thrombectomy. So why are we all here? You know, I think um, time is brain has been the mantra. Um, and this is, um, goes back to really as a large vessel occlusion mo model or LVO. So if you learn one thing from this conference is that the LVO type, a large vessel, so to give you an example, the middle cerebral artery in your brain, does anybody know the diameter of that vessel? It's about three millimeters, plus or minus a few, depending on if you're male or female. Just to give you an idea how small that is, but how powerful, because it's almost two-thirds of one half of your brain. So this is where that number, one minute, is 1.9 million neurons. Um, and I will, I'll show you some data that not all patients... Um, some people go faster than this number, and this is a weighted average. So why do we care about the pump? The pump is